Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum. Today we're going to find the weight percent salt in a mixture of water and salt. So let's get started. This is a problem in which we are trying to make a recipe that is three quarts of water and two ounces of salt as the first two ingredients. So uh, first of all, let's look at those units. Uh, a quart is a quarter of a gallon. So I think I'll write that down here. Uh, one quart equals one quarter of a gallon. An ounce is one sixteenth of a pound. And then lastly, we're going to need to know the density of water. And one way that we can express the density of water is with a number of pounds per gallon. And so over here, I'll say that one gallon is going to be equal to eight point three four pounds of water and that would be the weight of one gallon of water so these are the things that we need to know for this problem uh, so what we have first is three quarts so what I'm doing here with the first step is I'm trying to figure out how much weight of water we have for this recipe three quarts if I multiply this by uh, one gallon for every four quarts then I go to gallons if I multiply this by 8.34 pounds per gallon then what I end up with in this expression is an amount of weight that I have for those three quarts of water. So three times 8.34 uh, divided by four, which is 6.255 pounds. All right, so the next thing we need to know is what is two ounces of salt expressed in pounds? And this is so we can get both the amount of salt as well as the amount of water expressed with the same weight units. So two ounces, and I'll multiply this by a pound per 16 ounces. This is one eighth of a pound, or if we want to express that as a decimal, it's 0.125 pounds. Okay, so these are the two weights that we have of our two components. Next, we need to express this weight percent. And the weight percent of salt, and I'll just say that's NaCl, is equal to the amount of salt that we have divided by the total amount of the weight of the mixture. And so this would be 0.125 pounds over the sum of the two. So 0.125 pounds plus 6.255 pounds. And then a lot of folks like to multiply this by 100% so that it is expressed uh, with that percent unit there on the end. Okay, so what we'll do here is we will take a fraction where we put uh, 0.125 in the numerator and in the denominator we'll do 0.125 plus 6.255 and all of that will multiply by 100. which gives me 1.59 or so excuse me I believe I misread that 1.959 percent and so that means we would choose uh, answer B